Hey everyone, Stefan Kesting from Self Defense Tutorials. Today I got one of my training partners, Chad Scans. Chad hey. spent years working the door at some of the bigger clubs in town. Yeah. So I wanted to pick his brain. So you got some big doofus who's mad at you yeah. for not being allowed in the club. What do you mean I'm not allowed to go in there? What, what, what's your fucking problem? Yeah. How do you, what do you think? What are you doing? How do you deflect? First thing is, don't make it your problem. Don't make it a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. So what you want to do is you totally want to deflect it. You want to try and bring his level here and bring it down. So a couple things I'll always do, just in case it goes volatile, even though I look like I'm squared off, I'm always in a stance that I'm ready, okay? I'm not gonna stand like this, just in case. <laughs> I'm just here, but I always talk with my hands kinda here, just so what it does is if something goes, I can put up the block right away, you know, and I can shoot in, I can do whatever, but I'm ready. If my hands are down here, they're gonna knock me out for sure if they take that random swing. The next is, I do eye contact, but I talk in a normal voice. So when he's mad, I'm like, Hey, what the hell? Oh, e easy, man, I, I totally understand what you're getting at. I can't get you in tonight, and what I'm doing is I'm deflecting, okay? I am trying to bring him down, but make it, it's not me saying you can't. Oh, it's somebody else, it's this and that, even though it's me that doesn't want to let him in. Okay. So, then he can't really get mad at me, but if I say, I, no, I'm not letting you, I'm not letting you in, buddy, you, you're not coming in. Now, we got a one-on-one, -on -one. now it's going to go for sure. But, if I don't make this personal, he's going to have a hard time wanting to hit me or come at me. Because, well, you're not really my problem, but I'm, I got, oh, I got to do something. That's what he's thinking, right? And what I do is I stay calm. Because as soon as I raise my voice, he raises his, and then the tempers start going like this, and then you know you've lost it, right? So that's, what I, that's the biggest thing there. Deflect. Watch his body posture all the time. Keep your hands where you can use them all the time here. And then uh, figure out the best way to get out of this circumstance so you are not going to be the one getting attacked. Last thing you want to do is engage in a fight ever. Okay, you don't know what the guy's got, what the guy's going to do. Your life's more valuable than his. Period. You're not there. You're not there to outmuscle a guy. You're there to deflect. You're there to keep it calm, keep yourself safe, and if you have teammates with you, whatever, keep them safe. All right. Now, what if you're pretty sure that it's going to go? The guy's just not calming down. He's getting more and more agitated. Well, if that's the case, a couple things. Be the first one to strike if that's really going to. If you know it's going to go. Don't wait for him. You, your life's more important than his. So step off. Hey, you know what? I don't want a problem. And boom, spin and drop him. Okay? You see that? I throw my hips into him. I pull him back so he's off balance. And I've already got a choke in here. Okay? I block in here so he can't turn into me. But I keep his balance off. And I, yes, I can come finish here. But I'd rather just drop him down. And then I'll just finish him with a choke this way. And by doing that, and not going to the rear naked, because if I do make a mistake, he's able to spin into me. But if I keep this blocked here, I can choke him with one hand, just like I learned in jujitsu. Just up in the throat here, lean forward, and press him that way. Can you show that move from the other side here, please? Yeah. So Over it's just, here. Ah. So it's, hey, I don't want a problem. Hand on the shoulder, right away, grab here, spin. You already go in the back, you're dropping him. So now, you're bringing him down. And right here, I can finish him just about like this. But I'm, I'm going to keep him off balance, and I'm going to drop him to the ground, and push his head into my arm, and I'll just finish this way. And notice, I got blocked here. If I just go to the rear naked, but I miss, I don't put, he spins, now I'm in for a real fight. Right. And I, well, I didn't have to hit you to put that choke on, and I kept myself on harm's way. But if I mistake that, then we're in for a brawl and a bigger guy, oh man, you better, you better be uh, expecting to get hit. Okay, because it's going to happen, it's inevitable. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks so much, man. Hey. We'll get you back down for Anytime. some more, uh, more little tidbits. Tales from the door. There you go. Anytime. Thank you, Stefan.